Okay, Jan, how are you going? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Welcome. It's great to have you here today. Thank you. Um, so how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 24. Excellent. Um, so what I wanted to do is just ask um, just what you feel are your strengths in regards to um, uh, pursuing work in the future? Um, reliable. Yep. I'm outgoing. Yep. And I get along with people. Okay. So have you worked in areas um, or volunteered in areas in regards to customer service? Uh, yes. I've worked with Vinnie's. Yeah. Or St. Vincent's de Paul. Yep. For about a year. Okay. I'm still ongoing with them. So, how many days a week do you work with St. Vincent's de Paul? About two now. Okay. Because I've got workplace with workways to finish off my Cert 3. Okay, great. So, what's the Cert 3 that you're doing? Uh, agriculture, then I'm moving on to conservation and land management. Wow, excellent. So, leading through to that, is that a passion of yours for the future? Definitely is. Okay, so tell us about what you see and how you feel you'll fit with conservation in the future. Well, I'm very inspired to try and conserve what we have left as is, it's not unlimited. The yep. animals and the flora that we have are in danger and not many people choose to see it. Yeah, which is a bit disappointing for the world overall. It is. Especially lately. Um, so, has this been a passion of yours for quite a long time? Actually, I've only just really kindled it. Um, okay. Up until now, I've tried many things, been in a few different areas of employment and yep. just, just haven't enjoyed it. And, Doing this Cert 3 in agriculture has really inspired me to move on to conservation. So with Cert 3 in agriculture, what are the learnings out of that at the moment? Uh, there's um, seeds, grains, um, calf rearing, uh, quad bike forklift, chainsaw and just environmental, which was the last okay. subject. And is that uh, locally? Is that a TAFE? It was through GoTAFE. Oh, GoTAFE. Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, so really that for me that sounds like that's what's inspiring you at the moment it is and a future direction yep um so how would you see um from an employer's perspective will be some good jobs or pathways um that you would like to look for for you to grow that into the future something something that i can work with like wetlands or just helping out around planting conserving moving animals that need to be moved okay into a safe area are you doing any volunteer work in that area at the I'm moment? I'm currently finishing off the certificate with work placement with Parkland and then I'll be continuing on volunteering after I'm done. Okay, excellent. Well done. Um, so, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to watch a lot of environmental documentaries, especially animal documentaries, yep. and I do do the occasional gaming. Okay. Um, so with your conservation in the future, is it more land based or more animal based that you is there any interest that you'd like to work to or are you just happy to they work, work hand in hand? Okay, great. And would you be interested in doing anything rurally in um, out on land? Um yep. is farming or businesses that have to do with that area? If if what I'm doing in the future happens to coincide with something like that, I'll be more than happy to Okay, do it. excellent. Um, so, uh, apart from um, uh, preservation uh, and conservation, uh, is there anything else that drives you and makes you want to get up in the morning and, and get going? Um, no, really just that there's nothing more that can drive a person than preservation. Okay, so it's a real passion. Yes. Okay, great. So if a future employer was watching this video today, um, and uh, you're able to give a 10 to 15 second pitch as to why they should consider you and maybe have a chat to you about a possible work. Um, uh, you know, let them know what you think that you can uh, give back to them. Um, I'm really outgoing. I can see that there are things that need to be done and not many people are willing to see. Yep. Um, just in the last year alone, six species of bees have gone extinct. Wow. Um, the uh, elephants are endangered. Um, there's a lot of wetlands that need to be preserved. The Amazon is one of the largest rainforests that can control the climate of the entire earth. Yep. And it's getting cut down four football fields a year. Yep. And it's just, it's really daunting to see how most people can see it and, and look away. Yep. And just ignore it. No, no. And do you think there's somewhere at a local level and a local jobs level that you'd like to actually bring your passion into as well? Um, as of now, the only people that I can see that are actually doing something towards that are parklands. Okay, excellent. And the Green Army, which won't be in 
which we'll go on at the end of the year. Okay, fine. So, um, thanks for coming in. Thank you. It's great to see what you're passionate about. Thank you very much. Um, and all the best. All right, thank you. Thank you.